Have you, uh, have you read your dad's book yet? I actually haven't, no. Um, I finally saw a hard copy for the first time last night. They've been doing, uh, I think it actually still might have some revisions to be done, so they kind of, uh, yeah, put it out there pretty quick. So um, I was able to read a couple chapters, but uh, so far so good. Honestly, it's probably one of the most exciting books um, that I've read, although I haven't read too many books in my life. But um, yeah, it's I'm very happy and uh, excited for him. So it's definitely been uh, making in the last two, three years. And uh, it's really cool that my best friend, my roommate in college, um, helped write it. So that's kind of how it all started. So it was pretty neat. How do you feel about the race today? Um, I mean, quite honestly, I felt pretty sluggish the first quarter. Um, you know, the, the rabbit got after it a little bit, uh, pretty aggressive, and I just, yeah, just never really felt comfortable the whole way. And I've been doing a lot of strength this year in terms of 3K, 5K workouts, and I've obviously hit a few um, speed workouts with some 200s and even a few quarters, but not quite the uh, that speed endurance mile, mile pace stuff. And so I think that kind of might have played into it. Just kind of felt pretty sluggish, pretty heavy right from the start. And uh, once once we got after that first quarter, it just kind of started rattling off like 60 points. And uh, I think we found ourselves with like three minutes with um, 400 to go. So obviously not not the time I wanted, but um, just one of those races where I readjusted really early on, just realizing that it's not about fast time today and just kind of getting the win. So um, yeah, just obviously happy with the win and pretty excited for the two mile, um, two weeks in Milrose. Were you worried at all about Tibet? I think you were checking on it right as you making that final time. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say I was worried. I was just kind of, you know, just looking back to see. Uh, it's kind of hard. I mean, this place was pretty electric today. Um, probably out of all the Boston indoor games I've, I've done, this is probably the most packed I've seen it. And so um, it was kind of gauge where anyone was. I wasn't seeing any screens, wasn't looking. So um, normally I don't glance back, but today I just kind of wanted to see. Um, yeah, if anyone was right on me, what I what I needed to do really just to um, that last 50. So, how many of these have you done? Uh, I did one when I was in high school, and then I did one in uh, 2012. I did a 3K, came back in 2013, and then 15. So this is probably my fifth one. So I, th I think I've done it almost every year besides last year in 2014. When was the last time you hung around the track for that long, signing autographs, selfies, or whatever? Uh, yeah, that was that was up there. That was probably one of the longest ones, but. Uh, like I said, you know, it, it was really neat to see everyone really get into it and be in the last race. A lot of times at the trials and certain meets, everyone just kind of goes on your on your victory lap and stuff like that. So it was really cool to see everyone stick around. And um, I was trying to do my best to give everyone an autograph and a picture just uh, to thank them for, you know, obviously waiting and being patient um, since, you know, it's, track is usually never this popular. So obviously wanted to um, thank them and I was really appreciative of it. Yeah. Before, I mean, before the race, they showed you a gold medal round on the yeah. screen. I mean, were you... Are you paying attention to that at all? Is it, I guess, how does it feel having, you're the marquee attraction for a lot of these meets now? Yeah. I mean, I'm just embracing it. Obviously, that's, it's what you work hard for. It's what you want. You know, at the end of the day, you want to be, you know, the Usain Bolt of, uh, of the event, you know, the premier guy and, uh, or girl. And so, um, you know, it's probably one of the first races where they actually showed a race of mine before my race. And so, yeah, I mean, I was obviously soaking in the moment, enjoying um, watching that and reliving the moment, but at the same time, obviously realizing that, there's a race uh, in the next couple minutes and, uh, you know, trying to stay focused as well. But, um, yeah, you know, I think maybe that's why I felt a little sluggish early on. I think they held us for quite a bit of time. Um, in the Watching the women's DMR, we're in the, in the paddock area, and then also watching uh, half of my race uh, on, the, on the start line. So, um, but it's pretty exciting, really cool thing for the meet to do. When, I mean. ben, when ben came up on you and kind of matched stride with you, what were your thoughts? Did you well, I didn't know it was bad. I didn't know who it was. I just felt someone come up on me. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, in most of these races, I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to expose myself early on. So I was just, I was honestly just waiting for someone to come up on me. I don't know who it was going to be, but um, I was kind of ready for it. And uh, usually when someone does come up on me, it's just kind of a nice little wake up call and uh, kind of get me going. And so I just tried using that momentum, um, the surge, to hold them off uh, through, the, through the tape. The two mile next week, will you be, oh sorry, two weeks from now, will you be trying to run the American record? Is that on your mind at all? I mean, honestly, I'm just looking to be competitive against uh, the guys in the field. I mean, I don't know if you guys seen the start list. It's a pretty deep field. It has steeple chasers like Evan Jager. It's got 5K guys like Ryan Hill, uh, Myler, such as myself, and Ben Blankenship, I believe, is in it. So it's a really cool event, I think, where all these distances uh, come together and, uh, in my eyes, meet at some kind of median, you know, a two-mile race, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. And so, um, just looking to mix it up with those guys, you know, I uh, don't get many opportunities to race against um, Ryan Hill, Evan Jay, or um, and those guys, Jerry's guys, uh, primarily, and uh, even Ben True. Obviously, it's going to be more more of his event. And so, 
just looking to have fun with it and uh, yeah, just put on a show in front of uh, the New York fans. Okay, we're gonna switch. We, we love you, but.